Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Harakakwadash. Yahweh is who the word ignorantly called God. And it is in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and who the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ. In the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you, I say shalom. Practice patience and remain patient. That's something that we have to do in this truth. Those that have come into the knowledge of the truth, that is something that we have to do daily. All right. You have to practice patience in your everyday walk of life. All right. If you, brothers that have kids, you know, you got to be patient with your kids. You have to be patient with everything in this world. You have to be patient with these devils that we work with, these two third niggas that we uh, may come in contact with. Everything is is a test from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That we remain patient. And when we do come into a situation, we use wisdom. All right. We use wisdom that we're learning and we continue to learn that the Heavenly Father has opened our eyes to. OK, but a lot of that, a lot of that wisdom is having patience, having patience with yourself, having patience with those around you. OK, because patience is something that's going to be key in these last days, in this Jacob's trouble, when all these calamities begin to happen. All right. If you're just quick to make a, 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 a impulsive, emotional decision, you're not you're not. Practicing patience. You're not uh, uh, um, following what the scriptures say do. Okay? So let me hop right into the scriptures. Um, this is the book of Romans chapter 5, and I'm going to start at verse 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. And every day, all right, any Jake that has, has a clue of what the hell is going on, all right, understand that we're under the curses. We're in captivity. And, and every day in this captivity in Babylon, or wherever you Jake scattered throughout the four winds of the world are that are that are true believers, hey, you're vexed about something. But we have to be patient. We just can't just, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, just just lose it and, and go off on Esau and cuss out our our manager or our, our um, you know our supervisors or whatever. You know, um, this just just you know we can't lose it. All right, we have to you know practice patience with everything that we're dealing with. OK, and that and that's a part of it, you know, enduring that tribulation. This scripture says he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So enduring is is is, is practicing that patience and patience is to suffer as the Apostle Gabar always, um, you know, brings out. All right. Having patience is suffering. We were suffering here. All right. But we're suffering for 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 great cause. We're suffering for you. How about you? shy. OK. You know, and that part of that suffering is us repenting, is us turning from our sin. OK, so every day in this every day in this captivity, we're going through tribulation. We're, we're you know, whether it's um, heavy tribulation or, or, or small, it's some form of tribulation that we have to um, that we have to deal with. OK, but that that enduring that tribulation is going to build our patience. So when things really get fucked up out here, all right, when we don't got food, when we don't may not have shelter, we may not have the basic necessities, we're not going to lose it. We're going to remain patient and we're going to wait and depend on the Lord in our time of trouble, in our time of tribulation. OK, look at Yahweh Shah. He, he's a perfect example. All right. He had to deal with two third niggas, you know, uh, uh, scoffing at him, talking shit. All right. Uh, uh, he was innocent and he, and he, and he, and he still you know, uh, uh, went up there and, and, and you know, uh, was the was the sacrificial lamb for the children of Israel. He practiced patience. He, he I'm pretty sure. OK, Yahweh Shai wanted to put a bunch of niggas to flight. All right. But but he didn't. He, he, he was cool, calm and collect. All right. You know, so we have to practice that same patience that Yahweh Shai had, had practiced. All right. He dealt with he dealt with all kind of shit, dealt with temptation. All right. We have to deal with temptation. We have to go through this tribulation. All right, back to the verse. In patience, experience, and experience hope. So through the working of our patience, that's going to gain us experience. All right? So when um, certain situations arise in our life, all right, certain, you know, calamities or whatever may take place, we are already, we are already prepared spiritually, mentally, all right? Because we've been through certain things that have, that, that, that have, uh, um, 
that have built us up to this, this the times that we're going to, you know, we're, we're living in or certain situations that we may that may uh, come upon us. All right. We are already built up for that. The rest of this world is not built up for that. This rest of this world is going to haste in a time of trouble. They're going to make they're going to haste in and, and, and look for a fast solution. All right. Which is going to come in the form of pretty much selling out to the devil. All right. You know, taking this devil's uh, M.A.R.K. That M.O.T.B. All right. That, that that's the that's taking that is the epitome of not having patience. All right. Not waiting on the Lord. All right. Because the Lord is not going to leave us just out there to hang like, like leave us out there to to, uh, 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 you know, to, 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 you know, if we're faithful and true to him, he's going to be faithful and true to us. All right. And hope make it back to the verse and hope make it not a shame because he loved, excuse me, because the love of the most high is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy spirit, which is given unto us. So the, the Holy spirit is actually what, what, what is what gives us patience. All right. Well, what's, you know, um, is, 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 you know, is dealing with us that what helps us practice patience. All right, if Satan on if Satan's on you, you ain't gonna be patient. You're gonna be impulsive. You're gonna be emotional. You're gonna make irrational decisions. All right, you're gonna make you know uh, uh, emotional decisions versus thinking about thinking about things. All right, Let, contemplating and seeing what your best option is. All right, but you know, but like I said, the our our everyday life, everyday experiences, the things that we go through that. All those all those things are building us up into that hour of temptation, until Jacob's trouble. All right. This is all this is all the Lord is building us up right now. Those that say faithful and true to him and call upon his name, the Lord is building us up. All right. And and tribulation and and, and having anxiety and dealing with all this bullshit in the world. That's not that's that's that is uh, uh, nothing but building his uh, um, his his elect up, his hopeful elect. All right. We got to shed a lot of, you know, you know filthiness that was in us at once okay and, and and part of that part of that is is dealing with tribulation working our patience all right um let me uh go to ecclesiasticus uh chapter two and i'm pretty sure you know um you know brothers know these scriptures so it's it's, it's you know it's nothing new but you know you gotta you gotta you gotta do these lessons to you know to 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 exhort the brotherhood to exhort the you know the those that out there are fighting and, and let them know that you're not alone in this. All right, we all dealing with shit. We all have to, you know, have our our daily trials and you know bullshit we got to deal with. All right, but it's all for a reason. Or right, everything that we go through is for a reason. Or right, everything that we 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 you know we deal with in our lives is 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 it's a test. These are small tests. It's like you're taking a course, and you know you have a quiz, a quiz, a quiz. You have a midterm, like in college, you have a, you know quizzes, midterms, tests. All right. And th all these things, all these 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 building blocks, these tests, these quizzes are building us up for that final test, that hour of temptation. All right. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter two and verse two. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Prepare yourself for temptation. How's the Lord preparing us through going through shit in the world? All right. You know, having us uh, uh, open up our eyes to this knowledge and wisdom. All right. So we can use this knowledge and wisdom that through this, you know, of the scriptures, of the laws, statutes and commandments to in our everyday life. So, excuse me. So when we are faced with adversity, we revert back to the scripture. This truth should be our default. All right. Verse two, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. Hey, that's basically saying be patient. All right. It says, hey, set thy heart right and constantly endure, endure, endure. We have to keep a hey, you got to continue to endure until the end. OK. And, and we know the end is is right around the corner. Right. It, it's, it's, it's not it's not it, it ain't a mystery no more when the end is going to come. Our right, verse three, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate, be patient. All right. Like I said, that the most high is going to, he, he's there for us. He's dealing with us. Okay. All right. He, he That's why, you know, I'm going to get the scripture in, um, was it Hebrews 13? He dealing with us as sons. All right. If he's dealing with you, you're in, in you know, going through shit and, and, you know, dealing with chastisement. Hey, the Lord is dealing with you. Okay. Uh, verse five, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. The Lord is, is trying us. Okay, and, and that final trying is going to be that hour of temptation. 
All right, let me um I quoted a, I quoted a scripture in Hebrews. Let me grab it. Hebrews 13 and um is it 12? I think it's 12. Um Yes, this is a Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourge every son whom he receiveth. All right, who the who the Lord loveth, he's going to chasten you. The Lord that's like a like a father, all right? If your daddy didn't whoop your ass, he really didn't give a shit. He's like, oh, let this nigga, let this, you know, let let the nigga do whatever you want to do. All right, he 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 didn't he didn't have enough love for you to whoop your ass when you was young, so you would have you would it would instill discipline in you in your later years when you become a man. So you know, a lot of these niggas is raised by their mothers. So when they grow up, okay, they, they didn't have a man in the house to check their ass, to put their ass in their place, to whoop their ass. So when they grow up, when they when when things don't go their way. Or they they they're dealing with a certain situation. They act react impulsive. A nigga go grab a gun. The niggas a nigga's first reaction is to fight or or, or get violent. Okay, the, 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 but that that's that's the um that's those those two thirds of our people that the Lord don't love right now. Okay, uh, verse uh, seven. If ye endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? He's not a he, he's not a son. He's a bastard because the, the father don't chasten him. All right. But if he if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. All right. So the Lord is, is chastening you, you know, building you up. He, the Lord sees you as a son. OK, the Lord sees you as a potential member of the elect. All right. But you have to take that chastening and 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 and, and, and take it as a good thing. Take it. Don't take it as, oh, man, you know, why me? You know, me in that woe is me spirit. Take it as shit. You know, hey, the Lord is dealing with me. The Lord has put me through this, 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 that or whatever for 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 a certain reason. For, you know, let me not just uh, 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 react and think that, you know, it's all about me. No, it's, it's deeper than me. It's 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 about the Lord building me up. It's about the Lord. Let me look and see what I did wrong. Let me see where I fucked up and, and, and see why the, the Lord is, you know, putting me through this. And when you do that, you un you understand and you won't, you know, you you repent and you won't you make the same mistakes. That's what it's all about. All right. Not making the same mistakes as you made in the past. All right. Bettering yourself. All right. Uh, 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 by, you know, by really fearing the Lord. All right. This is uh, the book of James, chapter one. And I'm sorry, at verse two, my brethren counted all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, the trying of our faith. All right. The Lord is trying our faith or everyone's faith is going to be tried. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. OK, the Lord is going to continue to try your faith when you put you in this situation, put you in this situation. What are you going to do? You know, like the Lord did Job. All right. The Lord put Job, took everything from Job, his his his, his land, his, his family, all his riches. And the Lord tried Job. But what did Job do? Job stayed faithful until the end. Job endured. All right. We have to be Job elect is Job in these days. OK, well, we're going to be stripped of everything. All right. We're going to be slandered. All right. We still got to be patient. We can't we ain't going to sit up here and defend ourselves against these devils, against these two third niggas, these heathens. We're going to hey, we know the Lord got our back. We're going to wait on the Lord. OK, we ain't going to sit up here and fight again. Fight for what? All right. We, we, this is the, this is the fight we can't win. This is a carnal fight. We know we can't win against these devils. No, we're going to wait for the Lord to fight for us. All right. Um, let me see. I had a few more scriptures. Uh, this is the book of Psalms. Excuse me. Uh, Psalms chapter uh, 37. And uh, I'm going to say that verse seven. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way because of the man who who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Is it rest in the Lord and wait patiently? How do you rest in the Lord in this truth? Getting close to getting closer to the Lord, resting in the Lord is 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 being in this truth. Okay? Being that's being in the bosom of your Shai. That that's a secret place. Or right, that's a safe haven. Okay? In this truth. And wait patiently. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his ways. Everyone seems like they're prospering. Everyone, these niggas, is, the niggas out there that's not catching hell. Esau ain't really catching no hell right now. They may, they, it may seem like they're prospering. 
Okay, but you rather get your ass whooped now than whooped later when everyone, you know, when and get chastened and, and scourged with the rest of this world. Okay, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass, and we know that wicked man that bring the wicked devices to pass is Esau Edom. All right, and hey, fret not yourself, man. These devils ain't man. These devils is, is they low. Okay, this is uh back in Psalms chapter um forty in verse one, to the chief to the chief musician a psalm of David, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He said, that's this King David speaking. He waited patiently for the Lord. All right. He inclined unto me and heard my cry. The Lord hears our cries. Okay. The Lord, the Lord, you know, even if we don't say it in our prayers, the Lord knows what we need and the Lord knows why we're crying out. Okay. The Lord, the Lord is not, um, how's it go? Uh, not, um, un, uh, um, Unrighteous to forget your labor of love, okay? That <laughs> was that. Uh, I think that's Romans, um, fifteen chapter of I'm mistaken. Okay, so the Lord hears our cries, all right. But it said, "I waited patiently for the Lord, and He inclined unto me, and He heard me." Let me, let me look up this word, "inclined." Is it Psalms forty. Inclined. Uh, not to, to stretch out, extend, spread out, pitch, um, to be stretched out like the Lord stretched out his hands uh, unto us. OK, he inclined unto us, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, the, let me see uh, it says in here. Uh, stretch out to extend, as it, it says in um, was that Proverbs one, um, I have stretched out my hand unto you. Let me see how to say. This is Proverbs one and uh, and no man regarded it. All right, the Lord has stretched out His hands to to us and 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 you know He hears us. All right, and and, and you know we stretching our hand back out. All right, what does it say? Um, yeah, here it is. Because I have called and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. That's two thirds. All right, the, that 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 the Lord has stretched out to also, but they don't regard. They don't regard the prophets. They don't regard the prophecies. Okay. They don't regard the scourges that come from your Habash and All right. They just think it's bad luck or they just think that, you know, they just coming on hard times and it's shit going to get better. No, it's it's a message sent from the Heavenly Father to amend your ways and get right. All right. Before it's too late. All right. I got a couple of more scriptures I want to grab. This is the book of Revelations, chapter uh, two and verse uh, 10. I'm going to jump over to chapter three and verse 10. This is uh, Revelations two and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Suffer mean the patience, meaning patience. All right, there is not they're synonymous with each, with each other. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye shall may be tried and have, excuse me, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Hey, that's being patient, being faithful unto death. That's that's when that you know that hour of temptation comes and. You know, you under the guillotine or, or whatever torturing device Esau may have, and you shit, I'm you still being patient. You're not gonna jump up and say, okay, wait, wait, wait. No, you just lay, hey, it is what it is, you know. And, and we pray and we hope that you know the Lord give us strength and put His Spirit on us in that day. All right, that we may endure until the end, that we may you know uh, uh, withstand the wiles and all the trickery and the witchcraft witchcraft of this devil until the end. All right. Um, this is Revelations three and three and ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the, all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. This is going to come upon all the world. Okay. But this is um, because thou hast kept my word, the word of my patience. It goes back to patience, have, being patient. That we kept this word until the end. That we 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 uh, um you know. We relied on this word to to guide us, and and and, and you know the you know the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. We relied on the Lord to guide us and, and and bring us you know thus far. So we're going to continue to rely on Him, you know, all the way into the end. Uh, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And He says, I will I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Not saying that the Lord is going to prevent us, but He Lord is going to put His Spirit on us to um to not you know take the MOTB 
All right. That's that's what that means. OK, the Lord is going to because everyone's going to be everyone's going to be confronted with it one way or another. OK, it ain't like, you know, everyone's going to have everyone's going to have to make a choice. But they, that remnant, that 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 uh, grape of the cluster, those uh, men that, you know, that that can be plucked out of the Heavenly Father's hand, you know, they elect. They're not going to take it. OK, those are the Lord. Those are the ones that the Lord is going to keep from the hour of temptation. All right. So I just want to, you know, hit a few points on, on, on practicing patience and, and remaining patient and being patient in this truth, because we, hey, we we're all in this, you know, the hopeful elect. We're in this we're in this fight together. And, you know, we just we got to continue to endure and continue to fight. All right. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I would like to give all praise, glory and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. Until next time, I say Shalom.